satisfied. Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu of California. Sir, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us tonight. How concerned are you by these new details in this FBI inventory? Uh, thank you, Brianna, for your question. I'm very concerned. I had a security clearance prior to Congress, and as a member of Congress, I have a top secret security clearance. If I had classified documents in my home, I would have been arrested and indicted because our government takes this very seriously. And in fact, in February of this year, we put a federal employee into prison because she took some classified documents labeled secret back to her hotel room. So there's the, the sheer volume of classified documents. Uh, there's also this issue of these empty folders, dozens of them. As someone who did serve in the military, what are the potential risks to national security? So there are a number of issues here. One is Donald Trump didn't just have a lot of classified documents. He had documents at the most sensitive levels. Top secret is any document that can cause exceptionally grave damage to our national security. And the documents beyond top secret, known as sensitive compartmented information, SCI, I can't even see those documents without special permission. And so these are very grave documents that could get Americans overseas killed or provide deeply held secrets to our enemies. On top of that, you have these folders that have classified information that no longer have them. So we need to know where did that classified information actually go? What are the possibilities that you are concerned about where that information went? So Trump's lawyer already said that a bunch of people went in and out of that office location where they had these classified documents. And these documents were mixed in with all sorts of other personal belongings of the former president. So there wasn't a very good record keeping or any record keeping at all of these classified documents. And who knows where they went? What if he showed it to a friend because he thought it was sort of cool? Or what if a foreign spy actually went in there and took them? We have no idea right now. Former Attorney General Bill Barr was on Fox today, and he said that the documents belong to the government. He said that he's skeptical that Trump declassified them. He said there's no legitimate reason Trump had the documents at Mar-a-Lago. He's not really someone historically that you have seen eye to eye with. What do you think of what he's saying? I support what Bill Barr said today. He's telling the truth. There is no reason for the former president to have any of these classified documents. I think it's important to note that the former president has no security clearance. He lost it when he became an ex-president. Anybody else in America would have been indicted and arrested. I think the law should apply equally, and I look forward to Department of Justice continuing their criminal investigation. And as they're calling this a criminal investigation, an active criminal investigation, we know they're looking into possible violations of the Espionage Act. They're looking into obstruction. As a member of the Judiciary Committee, do you see evidence that those crimes have been committed so far? We don't have access to the evidence that the Department of Justice has, but just based on the public reporting, it's pretty clear that the former president and his lawyers lied to the Department of Justice. They told them they had given all the classified information back. In fact, they had not. And you see continuing lies, right? You have the former president suggesting that somehow the FBI had planted this evidence. And then later, the former president reverses himself and says, no, those documents were actually in cartons uh, that he had at Mar-a-Lago. And then you have the former president suggesting somehow he had declassified these documents. There's no evidence of that. And if they were declassified, what would have happened is the Biden administration would have reclassified them immediately on January 21st, and Donald Trump would still be in the same trouble he is right now. Congressman Liu, thank you for being with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you, Brianna.